What's up guys, c 13 here, and today we're going to be looking at uh, my setup and uh, first sort of planting of uh, these beautiful bare root ever bearing strawberry plants that I got from hand-picked nursery off of Amazon, okay? Now, it's been a while since I've done a plant video or a hydroponic video, but uh, it's probably at least a year. Uh, but I really finally got enough time to get back into it. So today we're going to be doing this, and we're going to be putting these into my good old hydro farm deep water culture system. It's a pretty small system, but again, we're working in my dorm room here, so I only have this limited space, and I've got my fluorescent setup hanging from the... Uh, coat rack hanger or whatever um, so as you know I'm working with limited space but again this is to show that you can do amazing things with very little space now inside there I've got some general hydroponics uh, flora grow as well as my micro here um, and I've already really checked the pH so I, I won't get into the uh, the sciency schmiency because I feel like a lot of times a lot of times people don't really care about that they kind of just want to see like you know how is the you actually get them in the system and all that but I have them in a dilute mixture right now uh, because you know they're, they're gonna be plenty shocked from both being bare root plants as it is and then being washed off because I've washed all the dirt off um, and then being put in so you know all that's gonna be a lot of shock for them so the last thing I want to do is throw a bunch of nutrients at them so I've got a pretty dilute um, honestly I got it like at seedling strength you know what I mean so we're gonna wait and see give it a couple weeks at least a week before we up it to a, a higher level I really want to see how they take so all right so obviously in order to get this uh, whole thing set up we've got to get them down in there and you know it would be really stupid or at least unwise to just to try to do that by simply digging into this, right? So, sorry guys, I'm filming this on my tablet here. I gotta, I really gotta, <laughs> I need a better camera, all right? But I don't have one yet. So we're gonna need to get down in here, okay? But the reason they're already in here, and you might say, well, why didn't you take them and put them in afterwards, sort of fill them halfway? It's because I didn't have a really good container to wash these, and these are new clay, clay pellets, right? So when I'm washing hydrotin, I, I got to have something to sort of sift them through and these are great because of course there's a grate on the bottom um, but I don't have another container to put them in so what we're going to do is we're just going to transfer them handful by handful over to this other side and that's going to give us the depth we need to get these in so I'm not going to waste your time I will cut and uh, <laughs> you don't need to see me hand, hand scoop this over so once I've got this side leveled off um, we'll go into uh, placing the plants in. Okay, so to save you from the uh, desperately needing a tripod shaky ass video, um, I put the first one in and uh, as you can see I'm just sort of working them in. Now you can see that it is sitting quite deep in there um, and the roots do go all the way down. So uh, this is very important for um, making sure that you have proper root placement because if they're too shallow and they're sticking up too much you're gonna have a wobbly plant and a poor root establishment and you want those roots to be already placed as deep as possible so that they know to sort of grow down obviously roots know to grow down but the closer they are to the nutrient solution when you put them in the system the better they're gonna grow in the future because they're already gonna have that head start of being close to the aerated nutrient solution and they'll just be able to grow faster that way. It's sort of like exponential growth in the sense that the closer they are already, they'll have more power or more power. I'm tired. There's going to have more energy and nutrients um, and water to grow even faster. And that's going to further their growth even more. So it's sort of advantageous to put them down further because you get one good uh, solid root development that will hold them in solid. And then also you'll get excellent... Uh, growth um, in terms of the, the rate of growth and, and how quickly they mature because they're able to get and access those nutrients faster. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this side and then I'll get back to you. 
all right guys so it's all done I got all 12 plants in and as you can see the heights pretty good on all of them um, and you know I got a couple areas that I do want to level out the hydrogen but for the most part they're sitting pretty nice and level and now it's just gonna be a good week the week and a half and for recovery before we're really gonna start to see any growth but anyway guys yep so that is the uh, day one first start of the uh, strawberry hydroponic grow and uh, like I said these are ever bearing so um, we'll see where it goes from here uh, I'll probably post weekly updates on this just so you guys can get a good idea of how they're doing but uh, probably not for the first week because they're probably not gonna see much but again if they do grow um, you'll see it anyway guys thanks for watching if you like this give me a like give me a thumbs up uh, if you have any questions comments whatever just leave them below and uh, if you want to see more and see the whole series uh, definitely subscribe